Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 6-13 that is taken from chapter number 6, Bending and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is, draw the shear and movement diagram for the rod. It is supported by a pin at A and smooth plate at B. The plate slide within the groove and it, so it cannot support a vertical force, although it can support a movement. So you can see this is rod. That is acted upon by a load of 15 kilo newton at this end there is a pin support at point a and at point b there is a plate which slides vertically and does not support vertical force but it supports a movement so we will solve this and draw the shear force and free body diagram so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove the pin support at point A, so definitely you will be having a vertical reaction force which is R A Y and there will be horizontal reaction force which is equal to R A X. And if you remove this plate, so this plate only supports the movement, so we will replace this plate by uh, using movement and this movement is M. So we will find this R A X, R A Y and R and this movement by using equation of equilibrium so these equation of equilibriums are the first equation of equilibrium that we will apply is that sum of all moments about point a is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point a these two forces are passing through it it is not producing movement so first moment will be 15 into perpendicular distance is this six meter and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write 15 multiplied by 6 the second movement is this reaction movement due to plate B which we removed and this is counterclockwise movement so it will be positive and this is M is equal to 0 so uh, this is negative because this is clockwise so from here you will get this movement will be equal to 90 and unit will be equal to kilonewton into meter now we'll find this R A X and R A Y by using another equation of equilibrium that is sum of all forces along X direction must be equal to zero and in this direction force is positive. So you can see only R A X is which is in positive direction and there is no other force. So R A X is equal to zero. Now we will find this R A Y by using this equation of equilibrium and upward force is taken as positive. So R A Y which is acting upward minus 15 kilo Newton which is acting downward is their sum must be equal to zero and from here we have R A Y is equal to 15 kilo Newton. Now we'll draw the shear force, force and bending movement diagram for this beam. So for that I will take a vertical line from the end of the beams clear these are the vertical lines. And here we will take a horizontal line in order to show you the length which is x in meter on y axis you will have shear force which is in the unit will be kilo Newton let each division is equal to 5 kilo Newton so 5 10 and 15 you can select it as per your um, uh, you can see as per your uh, scale clear so at this point you can see that we have r a y which is acting upward so with this 15 kilo newton so this is the first point and there is no other vertical force so it will remain same till the end clear and at the end you can see you have minus 15 kilometer which will cause it to bring downward so this is your shear force diagram it's very easy now we'll find the bending moment diagram so again for that I have to draw a horizontal line which shows the length x in meter and here we have movement and the unit will be kilo newton into meter okay so we'll first uh, take the values here you can see that this is 20 kilo newton into meter 40 60 you can select it as per your own scale so minus 20 minus 40 minus 60 again you can see that till the point b this is point b this is this length is 4 meter and this length is 2 meter so till this point b this this length is 4 meter 
this length is 2 meter so the area under this shear force diagram why we have taken this because you can see at point b we have a moment as well so this area under the shear force diagram will give you the bending moment and this area is rectangular so its width is 4 and height is 15 so 15 multiplied by 4 is equal to 60 plus 60 so at this point you have to plot plus 60 so this is plus 60 so i will first plot this point plus 60 now you can see that shear force is a horizontal line clear and area is positive so bending moment will be one degree higher and it will be straight line and slope will be increasing so i will join these two points at start moment is zero because x is equal to zero clear now you can see you have a moment m which is counterclockwise so while drawing it on bending moment diagram it should be taken negative so plus 60 minus 60 will bring it to zero uh, sorry uh, plus 60 and this moment is 90 so plus 60 uh, plus 60 minus 90 will bring it to minus 30 at this point so bending moment will suddenly change to minus 30 so let this is minus 30 clear so bending moment will change to minus 30 and you can see the remaining this area which is this one so this is the width which is 2 and height is 15 so 15 multiplied by 2 is 30 plus 30 and at this point the moment will be minus 30 plus 30 will be equal to 0 and this will be straight line and slope will be increasing so we will join these two points so it will be straight line there and this is your bending moment diagram for this rod and that was all about this very simple problem i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching